Xiaomi have recently revealed they plan on becoming a top five car manufacturer, as in one of the top five biggest in the world in only five years time. They're saying by 2030, they're gonna be one of the five biggest. Now, a lot of people actually believe them. They believe that this Xiaomi can manufacture anything. They do it really well. They make more electric scooters than anyone else in the world. I mean, it's not even close, but they actually own the car company that manufactures this electric sports car. This could be part of Xiaomi's plans for global domination, release a $40,000 electric sports car that looks actually pretty good and is very fast and is available in your country. And well, they could be onto a winner here. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. This small sports car is called the SC01. It has rolled off the production line. So this is officially being produced now. It's not just a concept car. What you're looking at, you can pay right now 40,000 US dollars, I believe it's 42,000 US dollars to be exact, based on current conversion rates. And they're actually, they've commenced sales now for this vehicle. What do you get for that amount of money? Well, it's about the size of a Mazda Miata, just slightly bigger. But here's the thing, guys. I've received emails, people telling me electric cars weigh twice as much as a gasoline, petrol-powered, diesel-powered car. I'm still getting these emails. I mean, I can't understand. Are, they, are people being brainwashed on YouTube by just morons telling them stupid facts? Because get this. Okay, Tesla Model 3 weighs what? 1,780 kilos. Weighs about, it weighs actually slightly less than a Mercedes Benz C Class, which has an internal combustion engine. But putting that aside, it's true, sports cars are heavy. And we look at BYD's latest electric supercar, which looks amazing, very big. It's a supercar, but it weighs 2,500 tons. It weighs 5,500 pounds. I mean, it's, near, it's not that far off weighing as much as a Cybertruck. So when you look at that vehicle, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, EVs are really heavy, but they're not. It just depends on how they make it. Now, this weighs 1,370 kilos, meaning it's lighter than a Porsche 911. And it's an EV with decent range. 4,105 millimeters long, 1,830 millimeters wide, 1,160 millimeters high. It's not big, about the size of a Porsche 911. But like I said, 1,370 kilos. So what's that? That's about 2,900 pounds, which is pretty light. Apparently it's being targeted at the performance car market as well. It has a low center of, low center of gravity. It's 380 millimeters off the ground and it has a front flip design for the hood. But here's the thing. This is a very unusual sports car, very unusual electric car. In fact, I don't believe there's any other car being made like this. They've tried to engineer it so that you sit low in the car. So there's no battery pack underneath your bum. You're sitting in the car in an EV, you know, the battery sits underneath the floor, but it doesn't in this case. In fact, they've put the batteries behind the rear seats in order to make it drive like a mid-engined car. You know, with a mid-engined car, that's where you get the, 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 the engine goes. So the car drives differently because of that weight balance. That's what they're targeting here. They're targeting that different weight balance. I'll get back to that in a second. First of all, brake discs, big brakes, 350 millimeters, yellow front, six rear, four integrated cast calipers. It's got a steel tube frame body. Uh, it's actually chromo. So I don't know if you guys know chromo bikes, you know, a bit better than normal steel. And it has a mid mounted battery layout for lightweight construction, they say. Now it comes with a curved windshield as well, which is unusual. It has physical buttons. It's got racing Recaro racing seats and it's got an Edifier audio system. I mean, you know, Toyota has been saying that they think EVs have no soul, but this kind of car to me sounds like it's going to have some soul. It's, it's very unusual, right? It's, it's kind of a, it's more like a, a hardcore EV sports car. So what are you getting? Well, you're getting 320 kilowatts around 450 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque, which doesn't sound huge, but think about this, 500 horsepower in a car weighing 1,350 kilograms, 
powder weight is massive. This thing is going to be incredibly fast, probably probably incredibly scary, right? Because all that power is going through the rear wheels. That's going to be something, it's going to be a lot of fun if you get this thing on a racetrack, as long as it doesn't have things you can crash into if you go off the track. Now, apparently there will also be an all-wheel drive version. So if you want the all-wheel drive version, that might be a better idea. You have to keep all that power under control. In addition to that, the car uses active thermal management for the battery pack. Speaking of the battery pack, I don't, I believe it's a lithium ion phosphate battery pack. It has 160 watts per kilogram energy density and it has a range, CLTC range of 520 kilometers. So you're looking at a car here, right? $40,000. It's basically a supercar almost by the look of the performance of this. And you're going to get 460 kilometers of WLTP range. Charging speed. They didn't say what the speed is, but it says it'll charge from 30 to 80 percent in less than 25 minutes. So I'm going to guess probably 150 to 200 kilowatt charging speed. Now, Car News China says that the placement of the battery you look at, it looks like it's similar to a mid-engine sports car like a Lotus Elise or a Toyota MR2. The SC01's batteries will emulate the classic mid-engine sports car of its engine positioning in the middle of the car ensures a balanced weight distribution amongst all four tires. Now, that's not really correct. Obviously, weight distribution isn't going to be balanced like a normal electric car. Normally, the weight is spread out, so you have an almost perfect distribution of weight. Well, here, all the batteries are close to those rear wheels. You're going to get more weight in that area, right? You're going to be sitting back, sitting low in the car. The weight's behind you. It could feel a little bit like a 911. I mean, a 911 is a little bit like that. So I think this car, it's going to be a huge winner. And Xiaomi, I mean, they're a global manufacturing company. They plan on taking over the world. Maybe this is going to be on sale on the market. Now, what do you think of the looks? I, I think it looks um, unusual at the rear. Looks reminds me a little bit, in fact, of an old Corvette. The front, though, I think looks really nice. That side angle, the front angle, they look really good. The rear eh, looks a little bit kit car from the rear. But anyway. Now, keep in mind, this could be a direct rival to the MG Cyberstar. If you wonder what the MG Cyberstar is, well, I'll put a link in the description to my video about the MG Cyberstar, which is also pretty awesome as well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.